Hey guys, Wester here. Okay, I'm, I've been I've been having a few dramas with setting up my um, ESC and motor on the um, YEP 120HV, um, and I've finally worked it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I did it, and um, it just goes to show you some of the stuff on the net just doesn't kind of pan out. Um, the first thing that I wanted to um, show you was I've got a Scorpion uh, 403 HK3 4035 and that's a 560 um, kV job on the gobby and, and excuse me and on the website it tells me that the um, the timing is uh, six degrees which um, I tried and tried and tried and it just doesn't work it just doesn't work it with this particular ESC for some reason I don't know why but that's what they recommended on the website so I did a lot of researching and checked out a lot of forums and stuff and anyway there's a formula that you can use that gives you a good guideline to start and I'm just going to run that through you now okay so what you do is I've got my trusty little calculator here is you you put your KV rate in, which is 560, times that by your nominal voltage. So if you're running 6S, or 12, I'm running 12S, so that's 44.4 nominal volts. Times that by how many poles you've got in the, uh, in the motor. So I've got 10. That comes out with a rather large number, and then you divide that by 20. And that comes out at 12.432, which is 12 um, kilohertz. So um, I've got my timing at 18, and my um, the actual P and the pulse with P and W, whatever you call it, is is going to be 12, and they say to set it to six. So uh, five, they said it's actually say to set it to five. So yeah, I don't know why, where or how they got that information, but um, as I said, I've done a, a lot of mucking around. I've spent about five hours on this yesterday. So we're just going to go through it quickly, um, and we're going to start from scratch as if you hadn't programmed the ESC, so just disregard my setup. Also, um, make sure with the HV stuff, according to a few people, um, there's a a problem with interference with the um, signal line coming out of the ESC which is what you use to plug your programmer into because there's two sets of cables coming out apart from the power ones um, there's one that goes to your throttle from your ESC and the other one is just a normal three wire servo type cable and what you, what they recommend you use is a, is a female bind cable or loop cable which I've got, which ha uh, happily came with my DX7S, so I'm using that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to teach this helicopter um, where maximum and minimum throttle is. And to do that first, you need to reprogram your radio, which I'll zoom down onto and show you. And what we need to do is we need to set the um, throttle curve, so go into your throttle curve, to be a linear curve actually I'll just make sure I'm in the right setting okay I'm not check and make sure you're in the right model I've got to go to my goblin setting select that and now that tells me I'm in the correct setting so so go into your throttle curve and I've got a flat line there so I need to change that to um, 0 to 100 Change it to 25, 75, and 100. Okay, so now that's correct. So you've got a, I'm, I'm running a linear throttle curve. And this is the, really just to teach the um, device where minimum and maximum throttle are. So there's also a certain sequence of 
connecting everything up and disconnecting it because I found out the hard way um, it wasn't accepting some of my settings and the other thing is, is you do have to do this teach the, the learning mode first to teach the, the ESC your throttle calibration or you'll have big problems excuse me if you um, program the card using the card first and then do the, the learning of the uh, teach the, the ESC the throttle endpoints because it'll change some of the settings in here and I've I've actually seen that happen myself and I was like, what? I never said that. Okay, so yeah, four or five hours of uh, steep, steep learning curves. Um, you get with the um, controller, the ESC, you actually get given a um, cable with the, oh, sorry, with the program card, you get given a cable, a male to male um, signal cable. And basically, this was to supply power to the uh, card. Now, the card itself has got two sets of terminals on the bottom. The left hand set is plugs into your ESC, so this little cable here once you pull the plug out. And the right hand set the right hand set goes plugging into this cable here which is plugged into a spare channel on my BEC. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that disconnected for now and I'm going to leave the card disconnected because we don't quite need it just yet. So I'm going to leave this plug plugged in for to prevent any interference. And what I'm going to do, always make sure you disconnect your motor. I've got my belt off my Goblin, so it can't drive anything. Um, so it's a very, very, very uh, thing you need to be conscious of safety, because you don't want the thing spinning up, especially inside. Um, and especially out of control with an ESC that's not, not programmed, you can get all sorts of problems. So as you can see, I've got all my three motor wires plugged in. So... Um, Okay, so we're going to do the learning curve. Okay, so what's going to, I'm just going to explain what's going to happen first. I'm going to, um, there's a sequence to actually plug it in. Okay, so we've got our TX set up, linear power curve. Um, so basically we power up the, the, um, the BEC first. So basically that's, we've got the radio on and we need to initialise the controller. So fire up your... Uh, receiver. Let that stabilise. Okay, now that's stable. Then you actually plug in your VEC, uh, plug in the ESC cables, and what we need to do is make sure it's going to sound off um, a number of tones, and it'll you'll hear it start going beep, 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 and while it's doing those beeping. You need to, ah, sorry, you need to put your throttle into the top position. So maximum stick on your throttle before you plug in your ESC. Okay, so now we're going to actually plug in the ESC and it'll start initialising and then you'll hear it just going beep, 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 beep and it'll start toning. Now, pull it down mid, midway through those. Okay, now that's initialised and reset. It's got the tone, top and bottom, and it's done. So those two tones where it, get, where it went did it, and then did it, that means it had got the top and got the bottom, and it's now reset and now ready to go. Okay, so now what we need to do is disconnect the ESC first, power to this unit, disconnect that now. Wait till the light goes out. You need to always wait, wait till the light goes out on it first to make sure it's, um, you know, used all the capacitance power. Then turn off your, t your uh, signal, turning off the RX, and then turn your radio off. Okay, so that's the basic learning curve done. So now we're going to do the programming sequence, and I'll be back just in a sec for that.